every single day. I'm going to read to you a couple tweets that Jack Dorsey has allowed to stay on Twitter. Would anybody like a copy? I have here thousands of examples of tweets that are still on Twitter today from verified liberals, verified Muslims, verified anybody who isn't conservative, right? Spewing hatred, saying things like, I'll admit it, I hate white people. Fuck white people. Goddamn white people are the worst. Kill all white people. I'm not anti-Semite, I'm anti-Termite. I mean, this is all still on Twitter. All of these tweets right here are still on Twitter. Jack Dorsey won't remove those. According to Twitter, it's okay if you want to preach hate against the Jews. It's okay if you want to preach hate against white people. It's okay, to, according to Jack Dorsey, if you want to preach hate against conservatives, right? You don't get banned for that. That's not a violation of the terms of service. But if you're a Jewish conservative journalist like myself exposing these people, these leftists, or if you are just a conservative in general, you'll be silenced, you'll be shut down. You'll be silenced, you'll be shut down. And I'm here today, and you can see the back of my sweater, to tell Jack Dorsey to stop the bias. Stop the bias of conservatives, Jack Dorsey. Stop the bias of conservatives on your platform. Stop the bias all around the world, Jack Dorsey. Millions of conservatives have been shut down and censored. Our brothers and sisters in the United Kingdom have to fear for arrest. They have to fear that they're going to have their doors knocked down in the middle of the night if they post wrong things. If they criticize Islam or Sharia, they fear just like Tommy Robinson did when he simply wanted to raise awareness about Muslim rape gangs, which was well documented in the courts, and then the police knocked his door down, they arrested him, and they sent him to jail. They sent him to jail where he was starved, he was tortured, and he was abused by Muslim gang members. They intentionally put Tommy Robinson in a prison cell next to the people who he was trying to expose on social media. And he had to endure all of this punishment and torture, human rights violations, because our social media companies, Twitter, Facebook, Apple, Google, Instagram, they are essentially upholding Sharia. Silicon Valley is essentially upholding Sharia when they decide to ban me for posting facts about Islam. When they decide to ban me for posting facts about Sharia law or criticizing an anti-Jewish Muslim congresswoman. This is America. We have a United States Constitution and Sharia law is completely incompatible with our United States Constitution. And here I am, physically handcuffed. You know, if Jack Dorsey wants to come outside, I want to know, I would love to know, Jack, why it's okay for people to say things like they want to assassinate President Trump. I want to shoot Trump in the head. Fuck white people. All white people are racist. God, can someone just shoot Trump already? I mean, why is this allowed on Twitter, Jack Dorsey? I want to know how that is hate, how that's not hate speech, but my tweet up there, isn't it ironic? How the Twitter moments used to celebrate women, LGBTQ, and minorities is a picture of Ilhan Omar. And I had a sign, I had a sign here that I wanted to show you guys, but Twitter confiscated it. So already, here in America, you know, I have a right to protest, I have a right to peacefully protest here, and I can't, I can't even protest because even on the outside, Jack Dorsey is sending his goons to confiscate my sign. I want to know why Jew hatred is okay at Twitter, where Louis Farrakhan can essentially call for the extermination of Jews, just like Hitler did. But then a Jewish journalist is shut down simply for reporting the truth. I want to know. I want to know. And he won't give me back my sign. There you can see my sign right there. There you can see it. So for all of you watching, you know, you need to be aware of this egregious double standard here. And I'm not gonna leave, you know.
you know, I'm here today to stand in solidarity with the millions of conservatives all across the world who have been silenced and censored by these big tech corporations, by people like Jack Dorsey and people like Mark Zuckerberg simply because they're conservative, right? Silicon Valley is trying to regulate speech. They're trying to destroy our First Amendment right. And I'm not gonna leave. I'm not gonna leave. You know, Jack, Jack Dorsey kicked me off Twitter, but here I am, literally locked to Twitter now. So what are they gonna do about it? Hi, Laura. I'm Danielle. And Hi. I just wanna ask you a few questions. What do you think is gonna happen? Do you think that you will stay trained to Twitter? Do you think they will arrest you? What do you think is gonna happen from Well, from the this? police are showing up right now, so I don't know, maybe I will get arrested, but I'm willing to go to jail just like Tommy Robinson went to jail. You know, I'm willing to go to jail to fight for my country, to fight for the rights of the millions of conservatives all around the world who are being censored and controlled and manipulated by people here in this building, by people like Jack Dorsey and Mark Zuckerberg, who think that they can silence people like me, silence people like you, silence anybody simply because they don't agree with what we have to say. Do you right? think that you are the most radical person on Twitter who, you know? No, look at look at my tweet and compare that. Louis Farrakhan posted, I'm not an anti-Semite, I'm anti-termite. And then he wasn't kicked off Twitter. But then here's my tweet. Isn't it ironic how the Twitter moment used to celebrate women, LGBTQ Excuse minorities? Me. Excuse Hi. me. Hi. Hi, officer. How? Hi. Are you protesting? Yeah. Uh, Twitter. Let, me, let me stop you one second. Yeah. So you're being recorded just like you guys are recording me? Yes. You cannot block the door. You could stand well, they can from out. that part. You must move from the door. Well, That's not a request. I'm handcuffed. Yeah. You have keys. I suggest you take them off. You can try taking them off. I don't know if they're going to come off. Tape the key thing or whatever. What happened is you come take them off. You can warn yourself. Right. You understand? You're yeah. going to end up getting you arrested if you don't remove it. You guys can film. Just step, step back. I'm not, I'm not going to remove the handcuffs until, um, you know, I... Until Jack yes, Dorsey ran safely on Twitter. You gotta put like a, a, yeah, you gotta call him. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Well, tell me why you're here while we're sitting here, man. Well, Jack Dorsey permanently banned me on Twitter, and as you can see, I'm just a Jewish journalist, and he banned me simply because I was exposing Jew hatred and anti Semitism and speaking Stop. out. Stop. I was speaking out. So. It's okay. You know? All right, you're still I mean, speaking you, you out guys, now, and you you're still doing think, your message. Do you guys think it's okay for a terrorist organization? You know what? Like Twitter isn't the only thing for media. Like the other day, what was the guy who had a problem with the president's she press credentials? It's same. a better way banned. for you to do that thing. We're all owned by the same group. And you're still getting your message out there now, right? I don't want it off. Excuse me, sir. Just move back just a little bit. You can still film. That's not a problem. No problem. Just a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's like something you could do with a paper clip. Just have the issue. So back. I'm not taking these handcuffs off. I want to know why Jack Dorsey permanently banned me on Twitter for hate speech, okay, but he good. won't ban Louis Farrakhan. I want to know, Jack Dorsey, why? How is it that calling out Jew hatred, homophobia, and women's abuses under Sharia law is hate speech, but Louis Farrakhan, the leader of Nation of Islam, is allowed to tweet, I'm not an anti-Semite, I'm anti-termite. Is that your policy at Twitter, Jack Dorsey? Do you have a policy that it's okay to call Jews termites, but that Jewish journalists like myself are not allowed to report the truth? I had 265,000 followers, and now I have been silenced in a targeted attack of political warfare. This is an act of political warfare on behalf of these big tech social media companies. They are silencing conservatives like myself. And on September 5th, 2018, I confronted Jack Torsey during the congressional hearing on social media. And I called him out for his censorship and shadow banning of conservatives. And I warned President Trump, President Trump, please help us before it is too late. Because the Democrats want to steal the election, they want to sway the election, and they're going to accomplish that by getting people like Jack Dorsey of Twitter and Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook to silence us on social media. Every single week, prominent conservative influencers like myself are being shut down on social media. Every single week. First they came for Chuck Johnson. Then they came for Milo Yiannopoulos. Then they came for Roger Stone. Then they came for Alex Jones. Then they came for Gavin McGinnis. They're ashamed of it. Tommy Robinson. 
Wilson. And look, now, even at Twitter, they're still trying to censor our speech. They're still trying to censor our speech. They're still trying to censor our speech and take away my right. They don't want to ask. They don't want to answer. They don't want to let me know why Louis Farrakhan is allowed. That's my property. Leave it there. You, they banned me on Twitter, and now you're trying to actually steal my tweets in real life. Wow, that's incredible. You shut me down on Twitter, and now Twitter is still trying to steal my tweets and censor my speech in real life. That's my sign, too. Does somebody want to pick up that sign and show everybody what it says? I have her permission. It's my, that's my property, sir. This is a human rights issue. And it's egregious that the NYPD is standing here trying to protect a Jew hater, Louis Farrakhan, you know? And you're not going to listen to this. You know, this is, a, this is an abomination that here in America, here in New York City, where, you know, we had the World Trade Center attack. Muslims killed 3,000 people here on 9-11. On October, last, uh, uh, October 31st of last year, a terrorist used his car, he was a driver for Uber, and he killed eight people. And I don't understand it. I thought people in America learned their lesson about the implications Sharia law has on 9-11 here in this city. But now, now Twitter, they want to help enforce Sharia in Silicon Valley by silencing Jews like myself, silencing Jewish conservatives like myself, while they protect vile Jew haters like Louis Farrakhan. How come that is not hate speech? How come that is allowed on Twitter? I want to know why that is allowed on Twitter, but my tweet, and you can show them, how come that tweet got me banned? I want to know. I want to know why in the year 2018 here in America, the land of the free where we supposedly have free speech, why a Jewish journalist is not allowed to be on Facebook or Twitter simply because they report the truth about Sharia law. I want to know. I want to know why Silicon Valley is giving a pass to groups like Hamas and the Muslim Brotherhood. CARE, designated Islamic terrorist organizations who all have Twitter and Facebook pages. How come terrorists are allowed to be on social media, but a Jewish journalist isn't? I want to know. How come, how come oppressive Jews constantly kill Palestinians daily? How come? Oh. Oh. Who, who sent you here, Jack Dorsey? Huh? No, I'm, I'm Palestinian. My mother and father were deported under the Patriot Act simply because they were Palestinian. You know, you're one-sided. You, you know, why, one why do you speech. think that, as a Muslim, you deserve to have more free speech rights than being. I do? Why? I'm a human being. Why? So why I'm... is a Palestinian? How come on Facebook and Twitter, Hamas, which is a designate... Uh, you're a Palestinian. Are you here? Will you say that Hamas is a terrorist organization? No, I won't. No, no you won't, because you support Hamas. Just like, just like Ilhan Omar supports Hamas and refused to disavow Hamas when I asked her. So this is the problem here. We have people like this individual who's in front of me right now who are just like these representatives, Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib, who have refused to condemn Islamic terrorism. You have people like Linda Sarsour and Louis Farrakhan who advocate for jihad and the, no and the death of Jews. And the death of Jews. And they call for Sharia. And they are allowed to use social media. But I am not. There is something seriously wrong with that. There is something seriously wrong in this country. In this country, one when terrorist organizations that's, 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 uh, and jihadis and people who are sympathetic towards far, terrorists I'm not, I'm are allowed to have free speech, I don't, they but can't a Jewish hear journalist me. isn't. Is Twitter anti-Semitic? Does Twitter hate Jew pe Jewish people? I want to know. Did you that's, know? That's, that's intelligent. Are you aware that to a door and speak on a the Saudi billionaire, Prince not allowing anybody else to Al Bin Falal you know, has a lot of more Who's Twitter stock for the dead than Jack Dorsey. You know? He doubled his take of, of Twitter stock in 2015. My brother was killed. So that's right. I'm speaking for him. A Wahhabist Muslim man, a Saudi billionaire, owns more Twitter stock than Jack Dorsey. That is why I have been banned. I have been banned because Silicon Valley.
Roberts. Yes, it does. Somebody, this, this, this Muslim man, this Palestinian man is trying to tell me that Quran chapter 5 verse 51 does not it tell Muslims, us to even marry does not Christians. tell Muslims to it hang out to or be friends or be friends Jews and Christians. Can somebody please Google that so that we can read you? Because that is Sharia law. I'm and that is you. what, that is the message, that is the message that... I found, I found thousands of examples with me of verified hate. You can go on Twitter today and type in hashtag verified hate and you can see for yourself. You can see for yourself thousands of examples of tweets, assassination threats towards President Donald Trump, threats to kill white people, threats to kill Jewish people, terrorist threats. All of this is allowed on Twitter. You have but, a of Jewish, but a Jewish journalist, I don't have freedom of speech. Now, how come these people get freedom of speech, but I don't? How come you don't? Don't, don't let him distract you. I'm here today. This isn't just about me. This isn't just about me. Chef Dorsey banned me, and yes, a lot of people know who I am because I had 265,000 followers, but this isn't just about me. This is about the millions of people around the world, millions of conservatives who are being censored by social media companies every single day. This is about the millions of hardworking Americans who have been banned from Twitter, banned from Facebook permanently without any reason other than simply because they are conservative, simply because they are a Trump supporter, simply because they decided to call out Sharia law or expose Islam or talk about jihadis in our, our government. That should not be a bannable offense. I want to know why the terrorists and the jihadis and the Jew haters are allowed to spew their actual hate on Twitter. Question. Are you with us? No, oh, I am not. Right. Who's not with us? I am just one of you. They banned me. This guy? They banned you Alex Jones. They banned Chuck Johnson. They banned Milo Yiannopoulos. They banned Roger Stone. Folks. They banned Gavin McGinnis. And they banned Tommy Robinson. And you're next. They're going to come for you next. And if we allow this to keep happening, if, if our members of Congress don't do something, if they don't pass some type of legislation before it is too late, there's not going to be anybody left to speak out for conservatives. There's not going to be anybody left to stick up for the Jews. There's not going to be anybody left to call out Sharia and Jihad. Because we will have allowed for these social media corporations to take control of the digital public square so that they can enforce Sharia and ban conservative wrong think from the internet. Jeff is going under investigation. And Jack Dorsey, who I of course confronted during the congressional hearing when I called him out, I called him out for being a liar. And you know why? Jack Dorsey is a liar. Because when our members of Congress asked Jack Dorsey if he censored conservatives, he said no. Mark Zuckerberg said no. Sheryl Sandberg said no, they don't do that. But, you know, all you gotta do is go watch the Project Veritas videos. All you gotta go do is watch James O'Keefe's investigation that he caught them on camera literally targeting conservatives, admitting that they're gonna shadow ban and censor conservatives. They were even caught on camera talking about how they targeted me. How they targeted me because of my views on Sharia. I was unverified over a year ago because of my views on Islam, my views on Sharia, and calling out jihadis who killed eight people here in New York City. <laughs> it's out of control. It is out of control. But Jack Dorsey committed perjury when he lied to those members of Congress, and they let him get away with it. And it is time to put a stop to this. We need to stop the bias. We need to stop the bias because we are not Russian bots, right? We are not hateful individuals. We are not Nazis. We are not racists. We are not bigots. We are just conservatives. And this is America, and we have a First Amendment right. Who else has been banned? I never would have thought. I never would have thought that as a 
Jewish conservative woman in this country? As the granddaughter of a Jewish man who was arrested by Nazis in Germany? I never thought that I, there would come a day where I would be permanently silenced on the internet by Twitter, by Twitter and Facebook simply for exposing Jew hatred, for exposing Sharia. I never thought this day would come. I never thought this day would come that we would see rising levels of Jew hatred, that we would see, even after 9-11 and the horrors of the Holocaust, people giving in to this, giving in to Sharia, right? Allowing for jihadis and leftists who call for the assassination of our president. That is a crime. It is a crime in America to call for terrorism. It is a crime in America to call for the assassination of the president. But every single day, every single day, Democrats get away with it. Start. Look at these. Look at the papers. See them for yourself. Thank you very much. Share my message, you know? This is political warfare. Look at these tweets. Look at all these tweets. All of this verified hate that is allowed on Twitter. But if you're a Jewish conservative journalist like myself and you dare speak out about Jew hatred or the Islamification of this country, you will be banned. This is Twitter, you guys. Where Jew hatred is okay. But if you're a nosy Jew, you're banned. I am not going to stand by and allow for people like Jack Dorsey and Mark Zuckerberg to continue silencing millions of conservative voices. It is unacceptable. This is America. This is not the Middle East. We should be upholding our First Amendment right and not allowing for the enforcement of Sharia blasphemy laws. A lot more people here telling the story again. A lot more people. So, Laura, what do you think was most incendiary about your tweet that got you banned? I don't know. My tweet, obviously, is just a, a fact. I mean, I can read it right here. It says... It's on the back. Mm -hmm. you see it? They took my sign away. It's here. Can you bring me my tweet, please? This is the tweet that I was banned for. You tell me. Officer, does this look like hate speech to you? Does that look like hate speech? No, you just get your message out. I just need to. I'm here for I know, but I would like you to know, as an officer, is this hate speech? That's what I'm here for. You know, were you here on 9-11? Did you respond on 9-11? Did you see the horrors of Sharia and Jihad? Did you see that? Were you here on 9-11? You're not going right? to get any other answers from me. I just need you to get the cover. Right. I just, I find it unbelievable that in this day and age, in this city, here in New York City, Twitter and Facebook and Google and all of these big tech companies that line the sidewalk. You walk down the street, you'll find Google. All the big tech buildings are here. They are enforcing Sharia on Silicon Valley. And every day, people are wondering, why do I get shut down on social media? Why am I getting banned for posting facts about Islam? Why am I getting banned when liberals are allowed to call for the assassination of President Trump? It's just insanity. It makes no sense. We just can't. They're trying to influence our elections. In fact, big tech corporations like Twitter and Facebook have colluded to interfere in U.S. elections more than the Russians ever did. More than the Russians ever did by shutting people down. Did you know that Twitter shut me down a week prior to the midterm election because I was exposing high-profile leftists and jihadis and my video investigations were so effective, I caused the Women's March to, to ask Linda Sarsour, who is a jihadi, a verified user on Twitter, 
a verified jihadi on Twitter, right? She gets to use Twitter, I don't. My, my video forced the Women's March to disavow Linda Sarsour and ask her to step down. And then a week prior to the election, I was, I was suspended. And I wasn't allowed to, as a journalist in this country, put my political reports out. So Laura, what are you hoping will come of your protest today? What do you hope will happen as a well, result of this? You know, I hope, I hope that everybody can see that this is egregious. Regardless of your politics, I think that we can all agree. Someone please grab that. I think that we can all agree, if you show the comparison, who has the fair country? That if you get banned, for this in America, but you don't get banned for that. Well, the only thing I can think of is either Twitter hates Jews, Facebook hates Jews, right? Or they're biased against conservatives. So what is it? Why are you allowed to? Why is it that a Jewish journalist is getting banned? A Jewish conservative journalist is being banned from Twitter for posting facts, but then Louis Farrakhan can post. I'm not an anti-Semite, I'm anti-Termite. Hitler was a great man. And then he is still on Twitter. He hasn't even been suspended from Twitter. Feel free to take copies, you guys. Before it's too late. Before it's too late. Why did I handcuff myself to both? Why didn't you? Well, I'm not trying to trap them inside the building. Fire you know, that's a fire hazard, of course, but the issue here is that Jack Dorsey thinks that by banning me as a Jewish conservative woman for pointing out Jew hatred, I was defending women, I was defending gay people, I was defending Jewish people from bigotry and from hatred, from homophobia, from anti-Semitism, and I got banned. But that anti-Semite, that Jew hater, Louis Farrakhan, is allowed to. You know, so Twitter thinks that they can shut me down, but look at how many people are listening to me now. They may have banned me from Twitter, but now I'm handcuffed to Twitter. And look at all of these people all around the world who are now hearing my voice. Okay. Hey guys, we're gonna just step across the street at this point. I will not allow Miss, for Jack Dorsey to step across the street, please. Guys, you need to step across the street out of this, out of this, off the sidewalk, please. Back across the street onto the sidewalk, please. Why aren't we allowed to be on the sidewalk? Well, here's why, problem, man, because we don't know what this is right now, so we're asking you to step across the street till we figure this all out. So we're gonna ask you to step across the street at this point. Okay, sir, you can step across the street at this point onto the sidewalk, please. Can I stay in the street? Because we don't know what's going on right now, so once you figure it out, that's why the sidewalk closed. So I need you to step across the street, please, onto the sidewalk. It is, it Hold used up. to be public, right? Can you put them on, can you put them onto the sidewalk, please? Guys, do us a favor, so you can do that again. Ma'am, ma'am, in the sidewalk, in the sidewalk. Guys, your foot in the sidewalk, thank you.
Mind you filming, just for your own safety. Sure, sure. That's what you're talking about. Yep, not a problem. www.deathsmith.com That site again is http 
colon slash slash www.densman.com. Nice. Do I need the S on the HTTP? For anybody who missed it, it's http colon slash slash www.dentsman.com to buy tickets. Open bar, December 5th. Why will you not speak up about the absolutely stacked category of best athlete meltdown? We have Draymond Green and also over John Rondo and Chris Paul. And then there was a guy at LA Fitness who called 911 at a pickup basketball game. Take a look. Jets Award, HTTP, call us at
everybody heard the URL, so here it is. It's HTTP colon slash slash www.destin.com. The reason that I provided the HTTP colon slash slash is for you the older computers or older models of the phone. Once again, it's HTTP colon slash slash www.destin.com. You can find everything there. It's going to be a great time. You're lowering Twitter! Lord, you're lowering Twitter! Yeah, we're all going to be there. I also get to speak about the Death Metal Wars, which is happening next yeah. week. It's the whole point of what you Please do not silence me about the Death Metal Wars, which are very important. I want to speak out the truth. I don't understand why, like, all these tweets to verify hate are allowed on Twitter. Why would you have something fast about the law and you get banned? Why are you allowed to say things like, I hope somebody shoots Trump in the head, or I hate all white people? Why are you allowed to say stuff like that on Twitter? seriously wrong on Twitter and Facebook, all of these companies. Why are you allowed to call for the assassination of the president and not have your account taken down, but then you're banned and you're censored if you're a Jewish journalist like myself? Why are conservatives being shut down for posting facts, but you're allowed to post any of these hateful tweets? Why are you allowed to say kill all white people? Why? Why is that allowed? You know, it's really disgusting. Somebody's gonna get hurt someday. You know, Twitter is allowing for all this hateful speech to actually be spread throughout their platform by verified liberals and jihadists and leftists, but then they're banning conservatives for posting facts and opinions.
Are you cold? Yeah, it's pretty cold outside. It's like, I don't know, 35, 40 degrees, but that doesn't matter. What matters is our free speech, right? We need to protect our right to free speech. Facebook and Twitter are now the digital, the digital public squares. Everything takes place on Facebook and Twitter. And to just decide one day that you're gonna ban an entire group of people from the internet because you don't like their opinion, that's egregious. Oh yes, you yeah.
Go on, come down. Well, he tweeted that against Jews, and he's gone. Oh. Is this Twitter? And I also want to know how far she's going to be on the other She's basically saying that the um, Jews and the Jews are going to be too much. Like this? I'm so excited. 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 L-O-O-M-E-R. She's no longer a war fighter on Twitter. Oh. 
and Facebook banned her several hours later. <coughs> Just today? No, no, she didn't. She's changed herself to the door. I feel like I'm sure she's in the face. But there are a lot of for you. I know you guys are part of the demonstration. 
if you want. You see that area right there where she is? Would you like to be put into that area over there? It's not really, I mean, okay. it's a demonstration no, area. It's not a, but we hate to say the word pen. It's a horrible word to use. So is there anybody else with you that wants to go stand over there? Because we, we, we like to, we'll bring this over there once. The only thing we're going to ask you is, it's built out. You can stay inside of it. I just can't, you can't be reaching over with her and everything okay, no else. Problem. When we ask you, all right? So if you want, we're going to, we're going to walk you over there. You can stay over there with her. Because at some point, you guys understand, we're going we're to have to remove her from the door. We're not going to make her leave, but we can give you a demonstration area. That's what, that's, that's, that's what our goal is going to be. All right, so whoever wants to go, we'll, we'll walk you over there now. You'll be closer to her instead of being over here. No, no, we got you. We got you. I just want to make sure who you guys are with. Okay. Well, we so you can tell know. me if you could tell me which group you're with. So uh, who's I'm, I'm in your group? Sure. Best friend. Sure. Laura. You work for a company where they censor conservatives? So we could come over in the park. You work for an anti-Jewish company that allows for jihadis and terrorist organizations? Inside, right? Awesome. That's what yeah, he's going to open up for you right now. And you're shadow banning, and you're censoring, and you're banning conservatives.